What is going down, AMD family? We have a brand new optional that is rolled out, the 21.7.2. So, we're going to be sizing up with some benchmarks and some patch notes. What is going on with AMD and what are they adding? If you haven't already checked out and peeked the FSR special that I ran comparing both 21.7.1 versus 21.7.2, which is the new Premiere optional, I would definitely suggest giving it a nice good look at the end of this if you're newer to the network hit the subscription button it's absolutely free my name is mac and you're at the macgyver 7 channel and today we're going to be looking at amd game related news as we look over on amd's site we can see that the highlights we can see for some portion for the chernobyl light added vulcan support for the copy command too on top of the extended dynamics which that war will give a little bit more performance within the vulcan areas now you can see for as far as issues inside of the game compatibility, the advisor and the AMD Radeon software may inaccurately advise some users their GPU and CPU are out for as far as minimum requirements to play some of the games. If the user is still experiencing some issues, reinstall or upgrade the driver and perform a factory reset. And I have some videos I'll tell you at the end that you can see for as far as a DDU, which completely clean slates it on top of how to do a new clean install that you can see that's going to end up having a little bit more processes nowadays. Now, for as far as Resident Evil Village, that was experiencing some intermediate application hangups on TDR for the Radeon 7 card in the first mission that they have this is fixed for as far as the black and blue screens they come into the observed after updating the last radeon software has been isolated and that situation is enabled no longer you should be getting clear screens now no issues do stretch anywhere from the 500 series cards which are still having some issues for as far as the streaming and video portions on the 6800 series you can see the open broadcast software obs was having some issues when running the h265 and the hevic and sometimes that happens but it's not as normal um, but with the newer cards here and there, AMD is going to be ironing you know, some stuff out as they get into their beastly 7000 series that hopefully will be more readily available nowadays in the near future. Now, looking at the Radeon software that was crashing on the unresponsive portions for DirectX 11, such as the uh, Pug G and the multiple displays and the extended portion of Horizon Zero Dawn, we can see that there was a driver timeout or a game crash in the AMD graphics product inside of the 67 XT. Now on top of the enhanced sync, you can cause some black screens for as far as the enabling on some games and the configurations. Any users experiencing this, you just have to temporarily disable it to have a workaround. Connect two displays from the large portion of difference inside the resolution for as far as the refresh rates causing the flickering in the Radeon Vega series for as far as as the performance in the metric and the logging feature is intermediately reporting a higher than uh, expected in the incorrect memory value. AMD also has noted that the Windows is no known issue for as far as their link that they are getting around from the HEVIC going to the ABC. Looking at portions that you can download now is Windows 10 as they did let go of the Windows 7 and the architecture tethering it as I'm assuming all a lot of the writers in the uh, graphics card game are going to be pushing forward since windows 11 is almost premiering and we'll be looking at windows 10 starting to air out on the list but that's not what we're here for we're going to hear some bench marks right out the gate we're going to go ahead and rip apart 4k in the directx 12 department as you can see the driver on the left is going to be the older one 21.7.1 versus the 21.7.2 that is the right as you can see it edges a little bit closer to winning with the double sevens but nothing in percentage breaking we're just seeing that there's a little bit more performance in the graphics score and a little bit hit back for as far as running forward in the cpu so it's a tandem gain but just a little one so let's go ahead and get out of 4k and look at 1080p in directx 12. 
as you can see right over here, we can see that there's going to be something for as far as a reduction. As you can see, it does the exact opposite. So they are catering to more 4K, which has been kind of the trend in the last few drivers in the newer 21 series in the mid Q2 section. DirectX 11 gets sized up and we can see that it does take a hit back for as far as the regular 4K. Now, this is not what we were looking forward for as far as pushing forward. And you can see that even inside of the CPU where it gains nominally, the combo score does take a little bit of reduction. So let's go ahead and take a look at the extreme for 1080p in the department of DirectX 11. We can see that things kind of push forward a little bit, but when you look at the graphic score size to size, is actually a little bit of reduction. What you're gaining here is actually the physics score. On top of that, you're also losing a little bit of the combination. So it's only that of what is happening in a nominal portion. So let's go ahead and see the bread and butter. And this is where you see that there's really not too much to the newer driver. I think that for as far as stability and what they've been adding with the Vulcan line, yes, this is something that they're trying to fix certain things that are happening as explained in the patch notes. Now, for as far as looking at the benchmarks on synthetics, not sizing up in a game, which I would definitely suggest looking at the FSR video that's finished, will give you more of a gamer perspective of what you can do with the adrenaline software. So with looking at the real game video that you can view up there and this video that's already done, if you are newer to the network, definitely hit the subscription button. It's absolutely free, helps me as a creator. And if you do today, who knows? Maybe GPUs will just be affordable and they'll be on every store that you can go to that sells electronics. It'd be sweet. But you just have to subscribe to find out. But conclusion of the driver, it seems like FSR well definitely showcases the W's over what ends up happening with this driver and installing it. It seems like in DirectX 12 and 4K you get a little bit, but it seems like there might be a little bit more of a frame tear issue as they work out and iron out stability across the board in the 21.7. So stay tuned, everyone. I will see you guys and gals in the near future. I'm going to definitely put a 21.q2.1 video together because that's out and then i gotta do the good bad and the ugly of that and then size up the optional standard and that to see what exactly works the best nowadays but i'll see you guys and gals in the near future stay safe stay classy and i'll see you there